Hello friends, welcome back to another episode. And in this video, we'll talk about something on the change tracking mechanism that you can enable for your CAP application just by hooking up uh, some CDS plugin, which is pretty easy uh, and a uh, bit useful. And not only that, we'll also bit explore uh, on the change tracking different uh, features uh, that definitely will be helpful for you, I believe. So let's get into the coding. So to start with, I have just you know cloned the incident management application, which SAP offers in a Git repository. I'll give you the URL in the description box of the video. You can also clone it and try it out. I have already cloned it. And to start with our application, you need to run npm install so that all the dependent uh, libraries like dev dependencies and all the dependencies will be installed uh, for your project. So run this application first with npm run start and it's actually running um, as an in-memory database, right? So let's open this application. It's open in my... So make sure you install the latest uh, Sirius SDK, right? It should be uh, Sirius 8. So then you get this kind of interface you will actually see. So let's click on this web app and it will come up with a pop-up and for that if we go to the package or json we'll find certain test users okay one is the alice and other is a bob so we'll go for the alice because it has both support and you know admin kind of a privilege so let's go to our application put alice it is a basic auth and kind of a mock user mock authentication you don't need to add any password and uh, if everything works fine, it should display the records, which is all the dummy data. Now, what the intention is, if I go into the detail page, let's say, and I have a now edit mechanism, if I edit it, and I just make certain changes over here, I want to keep a track of these changes, what we are making it. So to do that, what the easy way should be to annotate something in your service, we can do that uh, at the bit of your uh, uh, service uh, dot series we can put an annotation and what is the incident incidents coming on the processor service so you can put some processor service dot incidents and i want to in annotate this one with simple uh, let's say three things like customer and for that you have to put change log and then we can put a title it's also change log and finally it's a uh, let's say status we can also put a change log now once you do that what exactly i'm trying to say by annotating that whenever you will find something a change log uh, with the, any kind of a properties of this incidents then user if make any adjustment to this three kind of a input fields then keep a track of it all right that's the main purpose but just adding these annotations is not sufficient we have to do one more thing we just need to add one one npm package you can write npm add add red cap js and then change tracking as a change tracking so it's just installed so let's do one thing let's save everything so let's go into the detail and excellent you have now this change history additional tab and by the way it is not showing anything and it's uh, if you click on show more then you'll actually show the details of this change history. Currently, it is nothing changing or because we didn't make any adjustments so far. But this is a lazy loading concept. Okay, it is not always coming. Uh, and we'll see shortly that how we can make it enable. I mean, how to disable the lazy loading. But lazy loading improves the performance. So uh, switching it off uh, may not be worthy. Okay, so make sure you, you know consider all the performance aspects before uh, uh, disabling this you know a lazy loading concept we'll see it shortly but anyway the purpose of this uh, demo now to just to check how we can track it out those you know changes so let's make a little change and we are going to adjust something on the customer so let's put a customer and put uh, some other customer name because we are changing it to some other customer let's change something on the status put that as on hold and title let's put something called test okay so these three things i have just made an adjustment click on save and awesomely you can see the changes get tracked now here you just see that i have changed the title i have changed the status and i have changed the customer but here i can see the customer id right from this one to this one so old value was 4100 and new value is 4161 but to understand what is the name instead of this, I know this ID. 
that what you can do you can go to your uh, service and go to the incident incident to incident to model and here you is the you have this customer which is an actually association to another entity called customers go to this customers and you can see something a name is added okay so if we want to just because this name is actually getting displayed over here so what you can do go to service and here in this annotations you can put a colon first and put a square bracket here you can put customer dot name so once i do that so let's save it once so let's make one more change put it a different one this time so click on save and now you can see that the value is actually giving a more human readable uh, which is giving the actual customer name and not the id all right so we have also something called conversation and if you want to track conversation similar way you can do this you can put a conversation and you can put at the rate change log now within the colon you can put conversation and then the field name for the one that i want to track is called message okay yeah you see the conversation does have a composition and the pro one of the properties that i want to track is the message okay and uh, let's click on edit let's add one more uh, new message i want to say hello okay if i save this what i'm expecting in the change history something will be logged it's a lazy loading so click on show more and you can see that it is uncreate because i'm adding a new message so it's a create is a change type so next action item should be to show this kind of a table always and not to click the show more kind of a button so to disable lazy loading this is the kind of a configuration that we can put okay so if you go to this gap js change tracking you'll see by default this part of preview set to false and what we have made we have just made to true i'm not putting anything so it's made to true and let's save it and rerun the app what's the result that we're expecting now so if i now go to this record in the detail and then go to change history you see this particular table is always remain displayed and i don't see the show less kind of a button or show more right it's basically disabled next thing would be that when i'm let's say i'm making a changes to over this particular record and obviously i am able to track the changes and if i just delete this primary records and obviously all the changes too will be removed that's expected but if you want to keep a track of this change history even after you deleting the main record we will need to we'll be using an sqlite table this time so for that what we'll do let's deploy this to cds deploy sqlite let's deploy this uh, overall data model to a sqlite table Currently, we don't have any DBS collide, so let's run this. And you see, this DBS collide is actually created. If I go there, and you'll find something, a table called changes and change log. All right, it is still going with the in memory. So for that, we can go to package.json. And here, we can add a DB under require, okay? So DB and you can put SQLite, click a save, let's rerun this, CDS run, and now it should be fetching the data all the way from SQLite and no more the in-memory. So refresh this data and I'll see everything coming from the database table. So go here, click on edit, just make one of the change called, let's say status, to on hold and click on save. What will happen if you go to the database level by the way to check the actual changes you can click on the second table and it will show like what actually been changed right so now if i delete this record obviously this record will be deleted so let's delete it yes and if i go back to the database layer and click on refresh boom it is also removed now, if you want to keep a track of this data, even after removing the record, for that you can do in the in your package.json, you can go and you can put this 
another configuration and the configuration is this one put a comma so i want to just preserve the delete all right so let's save once again yeah so we deleted the first record and it's fetching from the sqlite db they can go to the second record now and if i look back our change table and do a refresh currently my change table doesn't have any entry so what we'll do we'll just make an edit and again make some changes to let's say in progress from new click on save obviously i can see that uh, history over here if we look back to the table and refresh yeah data is still over here makes sense now what our intention will be removing this record but still i it should be there in the back end so go back click on refresh voila you see the records are there now what happened you see many records now coming up that reason the conversation status title and customer these are the all four different properties where i put a change log right and the new value is something which is about status which remains there and it's not moved out of this hope this quick video on the change tracking is helpful to you and you'll be start using in your project share your feedback and subscribe for more see you next